Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back everyone and Ramadan Kareem. Today I'm going to give you guys a portfolio update and the dividends I've been receiving for the last few months. And this is something that I like to do because I like to be transparent with my viewers. In that way we can hold each other accountable in growing our portfolios together. So currently my portfolio is at around $42,000. If you look at it for one day, I'm down around $200 for one week. I'm up about 3.4% or $1,300. If we take a look at for one month, I'm up around $1,400. And then for three months, I'm up around 17 or almost 18%. And then let's take a look at our year to date. The year started, I'm up around 19%, which is a massive gain and which is lovely. This is a beautiful thing. And the reason why we're up 19% we're so high up because last year we didn't do so well. Like if you look at it for the last 12 months, we're down actually almost 10, 11%. But that's why we're up for the year almost 19%. Usually that's the trend. If you have a bad year, the previous year if it's bad the next year is usually good and if you're having a good year you might have a downturn for one or two years or or a few months and then you guys can see some of my holdings right here so let's show you guys my dividends i've been receiving so far february i received around four dividends in total for the month of march we got 14 different dividend payments what makes this a beautiful thing is that this is money i did not have to work for this is money that was given to me for being a shareholder in these companies by investing this money the companies are returning some of their prop back to the shareholders so let's take a look at our dividend so our first dividend was med take a look at this company we made four dollars and ten cents and you can see okay perfect it got updated so four dollars and ten cents texas instrument paid me $19.06. Let's add that, which gives me a total of $23. Go a little bit deeper into Texas Instrument because this is one of my top holdings and one of my favorite holdings. So I'm gonna take you guys back. Let's take a look at Texas Instrument, which you guys can see right here. Currently it's at $180. And for the last five years, it's been up massively 75%. So currently I have around 15.9 shares or 16 shares so take a look at this company a solid company and i'm up around 32 percent what's more important is not that i'm up 32 percent that's nice yes i do care about the growth but i also care more about the dividend income that i've been receiving so if we scroll down let's hit show more type dividends so if we scroll down all the way when i first invested into this company in 2018 i was receiving about one dollar and 54 cents every three months and then 2019 i was receiving three dollars and eight cents and in 2020 i received nine dollars in 2021 i received around eleven dollars and 61 cents and then 2022 i'm receiving sixteen dollars and now in 2023 i'm receiving 19 dollars. so you can see the progression how it has increased and grown we, i started off with one dollar and 54 cents every three months now i'm getting almost 20 dollars or 19 dollars every three months and this is why you guys should be invested into dividend growth companies when they're increasing their dividend guess what what's going to happen to their share price also going to increase as time goes with it because the company is making more money they're able to give out more money to shareholders therefore they're able to grow and the company is growing in value so again texas instrument paid me 19 dollars and six cents next one we have is navios take a look at this nmm paid me three dollars and 34 cents gives me a total of 26 dollars and 50 cents and then we have aos four dollars and 64 cents which gives me a total of 31 dollars and 14 cents in dividend payments for the month of february just to bring you guys back to texas instrument txn we're at seeking alpha this is a great website to do analysis hit dividend and we scroll down we can see the dividend board. and guess what the five-year growth rate for texas instrument is what 16 percent so literally year after year they're growing their dividends by 16 percent and they have been growing this for the last 17 years paying out around one dollar and 24 cents in dividend every three months give it a year it's going to grow by 16 percent give it another year so over two three five years this one dollar 24 cents might be might become two or three dollars per share guess what their share price is going to increase with it that's why it's really important that we buy into these wonderful companies so for february we made around 31 dollars 
$31.14. And we can clearly see here, it updated our chart, but let's add January. For January 2023, I made around $20.03 and this updated. One thing that you guys noticed here, that my trend has a little bit decreased a little bit here is because I've been doing a lot of transition, meaning buying and selling certain companies, selling out of it when it's at a high price and buying back when it's at a lower price. That's why you can see my the dividend for the last few months here has been changing a little bit. But the overall trend will continue to be up because I need to hit my yearly goal. So one of the goals that I set for 2023 is that I would like to make a thousand dollars in dividend payment. All right, let's go back to dividend. So here uh, we're done with February. Now we're going to start with March. Guys, if you guys made it this far, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It helps the channel. Remember, as I say this all the time in the investing world, we're all on the same team. We're here to help each other grow and motivate each other to continue to invest into these companies. So Pfizer paid me $12. 38 cents. Johnson & Johnson on another lovely company paid me $10.90 and then we have Microsoft paid me $5.84. Total is already at $29. We looked at Texas Instrument. Let's take a look at Microsoft, another solid company. We scroll down. We can see again Microsoft, they're paying around $0.68 cents per share. Last five years, they've been growing their dividend at a 9.9% and they've been growing this for the last 18 years non-stop year after year which is lovely which is beautiful and that's why i'm invested into microsoft because i know that they will continue to grow and do well with that comes also increase in share prices so that's why when you guys are investing picking your companies you want to look at this crucial factor of five-year growth rate are they increasing their dividend by five six seven eight nine ten percent and are they able to grow this dividend and keeping their payout ratio low, which is at almost 28% or 29%, which is beautiful, which is lovely. And we want to continue seeing these low payout ratios with a high growth rate. This shows that this is truly a healthy company. Take you guys back to my dividend. The reason I'm showing you guys in an Excel sheet instead of showing you guys here, it's not as clean as I would like it to be. For example, it's a lot more organized when I show you guys my dividend payment in the Excel sheet versus in the main profile. Again, MPX, another solid company. One unique thing about my portfolio is that I talk about companies that hardly anyone else is talking about. For the month of MPX, I made only 20 cents because I sold majority of my shares out of it to, for a profit. Again, 3M paid me $15.28. So again, if you guys didn't make one of these charts, make one of these charts just to motivate you guys. And then we have Grin, another solid company that I made money off of by selling and I received around $1.22. Control Brand, one of my favorite, paid me $15.98. And if you look closely right here, I'm already at $61.80. Let's add Skyward Solution, paid me six dollars and 41 cents let's take a look at skyward solution beautiful payout ratio is low and their five-year growth rate is at 15 percent. so these are the companies you want to have in your portfolio a dividend growth that have 10 15 percent in five-year growth rate with a seven-year consecutive growth in dividend payment take you guys back to portfolio SWKS. So in this channel, not only do we talk about the good, but we also talk about the bad. And if you guys look closely at Skyworks Solution, if we scroll down and take a look at their earning, their earning is what? Quarter after quarter is relatively flat. And this is very concerning. This is a red flag because you guys should be able to see these type of patterns. When the earning is, is flat, it becomes a company is, is not growing. So let's take a look. Another website I like to use is called Stock Analysis. We'll type this in SWKS for Skyward Solution. Let's take a look at their gross profit. So this is why I'm not concerned. If we look closely at their gross profit, we can see 2013, they made around $76 million. And then year after year, they are growing their profit. So this is a good sign, even though their earnings are not growing, but they are growing their profits. They are growing their revenue at a slow pace, but they are still growing it. So you guys should be able to pick this up and seeing that the earnings are flat at any company. Automatically, you know that you have to do a little bit more research to look a little bit deeper. Like for example, just to check if their earnings are growing, just to check if their profits are increasing. In this case, both of them are increasing. Let's see if they're doing any buyback. Over time, the share outstanding is decreasing a little bit. It was in 2013, they had about 187 million shares and 2020 they have 162 so slowly they are buying back shares we can see that 
2%, 1%, 1%, 4% decreasing. Whenever companies are buying back shares, that, that means that their company is doing well. They feel confident in buying back their shares. They feel it is at a undervalue. And buying back shares should increase their earnings because there are less shares out there. Therefore, the earnings should increase. So even though they're organically, they're not increasing their earnings, but using financial engineering, they are able to grow their earnings by buying back shares. Let's take a look at their profits. Their gross margin is what? At 47%. And then their operating margin, which is even more important. Operating margins are usually is known as their operating margin is pretty much is the percentage of revenue left as income after subtracting the cost of goods and the, all the operating expenses from the revenue, which gives us operating margin, which is at a 27%, which is a good number. I like to see 29, 30%, but even 27, 28% is manageable. It is good let's continue on with showing my dividends for the mark so again vfc paid me three dollars and eleven cents tapestry paid me 0.86 cents because i sold out of it nvidia paid me 63 cents for the month of march and then we have garmain lovely paid me seven dollars and one cents which takes our total to 68 dvn paid me twelve dollars and 49 cents and then broadcom paid me five dollars and three cents Let's look at this D9. Let's change this to D10. I'm at a total of $97.94. Let's go back to my sheet. $97.94. Let's add that. $97.94. Let's add more. And that should update it. And it brings it up again in to increase my trend. Guys, if you guys made it this far, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. As always, guys, stay tuned because I make one of these videos on a monthly basis tracking my dividend month after month. Again, let's take you back, back to my portfolio. Currently, we're at $42,000 and we're up around 19%. As always, guys, thank you. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. See you guys next time. Bye, everyone.